In this video, we're going to go over the number input box. So once again, we are using the input element, but this time we are setting the type to number, and that will give us a number input box. So let's go ahead and hit refresh here, and there you can see we've got our number input box. Now what this web control does is it only allows the user to input numbers. So no characters or anything like that. You can only use numbers. So we can enter a very, very large number in here if we want. And you will also notice that this number input box has an up and down arrow. So we can adjust it accordingly. Now, what if you want to specify a range in terms of numbers? That is, you will only allow a certain range between a minimum number and a maximum number that can be inputted into this field. And that's where the minimum and maximum attributes come into play. So we'll go back over here to our HTML and I'll just copy and paste this in here. So again, we're using the minimum attribute and the maximum attribute. And we're gonna set this to zero and we're gonna set this to 20. Well, let's bump that up a little bit. Let's set that to 50. So the only numbers now that the user can enter are a number between zero and 50. That's all that will be allowed. So let's save here. Now you'll notice when I hit refresh, this box will get much smaller because we're only allowing up to 50 to be entered. So I'll hit refresh and there you can see we have a much smaller box. And if we start using our up arrow here, you'll see that we're going and we're going and we're going. And if we get to 50, it stops. We can't put in anything else. Okay, so that's the number input box. I will see you guys in the next video.